Okay, let's take a look at study link 5.5, simply called multiplication. But we are going to do something called the partial product method. And it says, show your work in the grid below. So the grid below is basically just a way for you to keep your columns straight and your place value straight. But let's uh, do one 56 times 7 to show you what we mean. So 56 times 7, I'm going to write that in my columns. And I know like 60 times 7 is 420, so I know I'm going to need a hundredth place. So I left the extra column on this side. And let's do it. So 7 times 50 is 350, right? And 7 times 6 is going to give me, hopefully you know, 42. And then we add those together, and we've got the answer of 392. Next up, we've got 275 times 8, I believe. And if you're doing partial products, it actually doesn't matter what order you go in. So this time I'll do the ones place first. So 8 times 5 is going to give me... Hopefully you know 40. And don't forget, this is not 8 times 7. This is 8 times 70, which is 560. And finally, this is not 8 times 2. This is 8 times 200, which is 1,600. Then you simply add those together, and you've got your answer. And uh, just do your last one. Make sure you have space for it. So the last one's 1,324. And yeah, you can just do that one on your own. Um, there is an estimate here. Let's look at this one real quick. So we've got Maya going to school for seven hours each day. She doesn't miss any of the 181 school days, how many hours will Maya spend in school this year? What are we going to round? You could either round 7 hours to 10 or 180 to 200. I think I prefer to do that. So I'm going to do 7 times 200, 7 hours a day, about 200 days, which is 1,400, right? And that is in the thousands. And, oh, the exact answer. So, so to get the exact answer, you've got to multiply. So you can do partial products. Uh, I don't know if there's space there. But it would be uh, 7 times 181. Maybe do it on the back if you don't have room. And the average eye blinks once every 5 seconds. Is that more or less than 100,000 times per day? Hmm, interesting one. I'm going to just get you started here and see if you can figure it out on your own. But basically, we need to, the first thing you should figure out is how many times in one minute does your eye blink? Because we're talking about once every five seconds. So if a minute is 60 seconds, and it blinks once every five seconds. Do you know your 12 facts? Because the answer is 12. So your eye blinks about 12 times a minute. I would round that to about 10 times a minute. OK, so now you've got to think. There are 60 minutes in an hour. There are 24 hours in a day. So you need to do 10 times 60, and then you need to take that answer, and you need to take that answer times 24, but 24 is hard to multiply. I would multiply it by... 25, and then you've got your answer, 
And then your question is, is that more or less than 100,000 times per day? So good luck with that one. Try your best. If you can't get it, that's okay. We'll talk about it in my class, or hopefully your teacher can help you. And quickly, again, my class, we're going to do these methods. I think partial sums you should be able to get on your own. Counting up subtraction, expanded column subtraction. I'll get you started here. Okay, so remember we're going to start with the um, number we're subtracting. And we're just going to add up until we get to the other number. So we'll start with the plus 1 because we simply want to get to 1,750. Then we will add 50 more to get to 1,800. Now we want to get up to 2,000, right? So what can we add to get to 2,000? That would be 200. And now can we go all the way to 3,007? I think we can. What would we add to get to 3,007? We would add 1,007. So now, what numbers did I add? I added 1, I added 50, I added 200, I added 1,007. Let's add those together. So this is 1,207. These two are 51. Add 51. And your answer is right there. And you don't have to take these exact steps. You could take different steps if you want to. You could take fewer steps or more steps. Um, it's up to you, but you're just counting up to get the answer. And then the other one, expanded column subtraction. So you write out your columns. First, we have 8,650 and 1. And the other number breaks down just like that. Um, 1 minus 2, I would rather make that 40, and then this becomes 11. And 40 minus 70, again, let's make this 500. This becomes 140. And 500 minus 800, we will make that 7,000. And that 1,000 goes there, and now we should be okay. That would be 9. The rest of the subtraction you can do on your own. But that is your expanded column subtraction review. And this was a long one, but thank you for sticking with it. And that is it for StudyLink 5.5. Thank you.